Oh, hello there. This hour on Verbling, the next in my speaking series, the class where you learn important key phrases and strategies for dealing with different kind of topics that will come up in your everyday life, topics in English, of course. And today's topic will be all about how to talk about the news and interesting events going on in the news. I'll go over all of that and more in just a minute. But first, a little introduction. I'm John Eric, your Verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York, coming at you today from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. By the way, if you click on the on my name anywhere in the Verbling website, or actually, let me give you the link. If you click on this link in the Verbling chat window, it takes you here to my profile page. On the left, you can follow me. And that'll allow us to communicate directly through the chat window. And on the right, you can book a private tutoring session or buy a package. And I'll work with you on creating a personalized learning plan to help get you to your goals. So that's a bit about me. Let me give you a copy of the presentation that we're going to work on today. And we will get started as soon as we get a few people in here. There's the link in the Verbling chat window. And here is the link in the group chat if you want to open the material. All right, so that's a bit about me, a bit about the class. Let's say hello to you. Who's out there today? Mr. Edson. Welcome back, Edson. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Well, we're going to give everyone uh, a minute or two to come in, OK, because we're a little bit early. Uh, Okay. And let me start by asking you, do you read newspapers? Where do you get your news from, Mr. Edson? I get my news from magazines, from newspapers, and some news from television channel like Fox News, you know? Mm -hmm. Where do and you live? I live in Brazil. How do you get Fox News in Brazil? I don't know what's possible, but they just type tape it like I just put Fox News dot TV uh -huh. slash com something like this and then it appears to me and I hmm. I hear because I I was uh, I've been trying to 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 access the Hulu dot com, you know this channel. Hulu, yeah. Yeah, but it's not possible in my, loca my location. Yeah. And now I just I find out that I found out that it's possible to to watch uh, Fox News. Hmm. Interesting. Is it is it really the American Fox News channel from the U.S.? Yes, yes, from the yes. Hmm. I got news from the all the all around the United States. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, well, and what do you prefer? Oh, let's say a little a little hello to Rebecca as well. Welcome to class, Rebecca. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. So, Rebecca, where do you get your news from? Do you get it from newspapers, magazines? Online. Well, uh, I like to read uh, the newspaper online every morning and during the day. You know, to 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 be info info um, to be to be no, when you want to know info uh, informal, no. <laughs> informed. Inform. Inform. Yeah. Thank you. To be informed uh, what's going on during the day. But um, well, then uh, I'm hearing uh, the UK radio all the time. You know when mm -hmm. I, I'm doing things, but uh, no, I need to be focused on something specific. You know. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've got it like, uh, in the background. Yeah, two, two, for two reasons. You know, one is uh, to to be informed as well what's going on, and then uh, to hear English. And when I want to watch uh, news on the TV mm -hmm. uh, from the CNN. From CNN. Yeah. From 
CNN International or CNN? Yeah, international. I don't like uh, to watch uh, news uh, on the TV from my country because uh, I don't like them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was going to say that for CNN, there's two different CNNs. There's the, the, the CNN is Cable News Network, and there's the US one, and then there's the international one, and they're very, very different. <laughs> Well, I think it's, it's uh, from your country because it's all, all the time saying uh, news, well, all, uh, from all over the world, but, uh, you know, from uh, the States most of the time. But I don't care because I want to be informed uh, what's going on in the world and uh, mm -hmm. I, at the same moment hear uh, English. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like a good idea to me. I was just going to say that CNN International uh, has a mix of people, so n so most of them, from what I remember, most of them are not native English speakers on CNN International. Most of them are P Europeans and Brits. There's a mix. They all speak English very well, but uh, yeah. yeah. But so, of course, there's no uh, native uh, person. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sometime, when you have a chance, see if you can see the U.S. version of CNN, the original version, and see if you can notice some differences in the way people speak and in the way the news is reported. I think it's it's uh, slightly different. How, how say could that. I say, how could I know which one is, you know, which is the USA uh, channel? How? You, you can't get it in Europe. You'd have to find it online, so... You, oh, you'll, yeah. you, but uh, uh, in my parents' house, we have a uh, uh, ch channels uh, paid, you know. Yeah, but you can't you can't get it outside of the United States. Oh, they wouldn't, okay. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to get it unless maybe some special satellite channel or something. But I doubt it, because it's it's a uh, they have two different channels, and uh, it's just interesting because. There's, I notice there's a big difference between the two versions of the channel. Just well, but maybe notice. you know what I can't reach uh, on my uh, on the radio because I have an app on my phone uh, right, where right. it's exactly where I hear uh, English radio, you know, and I can reach uh, all channels uh, from all over the world. So maybe mm -hmm. I can choose one from the the states to get the accent there. Mm -hmm. Well, this one. Oh yeah, name. this one that uh, Edson just posted, that might work. <laughs> yes, this is, this is called the the, the the channel that I I, I type it and it appears to me and I watch this because you know I I had the I had the software like it's called Super mm -hmm. but it was coming a lot of virus and now I just type it on the, on. The, on the internet is and then I watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Box. don't install software because everything you want is online. If you look for it, if you look hard enough, it's there. Okay, what I want you to do is let's work on some vocabulary first about the news. Yes. We've talked a little bit about where you get your news. So we've talked about different places to see the news. We've talked about obviously newspapers, right? We've talked about uh, cable news. Notice I say cable news, and cable news is a little different than local news, or what we call, um, uh, I guess, like nightly news, which are sort of like bigger channels. Okay, so we've got some different places you can find news, different mediums. By the way, I don't know about you, but I use. Um, an RSS feeder. Do you know guy do you know what this is? RSS feeder. Can no. you use this? No, I never heard about if you give me just a second, I'll show you what I do. Give me just a second and I'll see if I can share my screen with you. By the way, let's say a quick hello to Morat who's joining us right now. Hello Morat, how are you? Hello, uh, I'm doing great. How about you? Very good, very good. So we're gonna be talking all about the news, learning keywords and expressions for talking about the news, and also how to describe stories in the news, all in English with good vocabulary. Right now, I'm just going to show you quickly. I don't know about the rest of you, but 
I, I use this. So if you take a look at just one of the places where you can put together online newspapers and magazines and create your own news source. So what I do is subscribe to lots of different news sources. And as you can see, you, this is an RSS feeder. So you just click on the RSS link on any page. And then when you open it up, as you can see, it creates like a little magazine for you with links to different websites that you subscribe to. Right? So here you can see this is news. You can see Quartz magazine, which is great for learning English. Quartz is fun, short, interesting articles. So it's you learn and it's worthwhile. Mashable is more about computers and things like that. This is just so general news, which I use for uh, mostly for these classes where I get some of the ideas from. Right? Because I don't know about you, but I, I want I want the news stories to come to me. So I organize them like this in an RSS feeder and subscribe to different newspapers and magazines and they all come to me like this. Right? So you can see for teaching specifically, I have all these links which are just good for English language teachers to get different resources. And if you click on it, it becomes a little magazine. In fact, I can make it a little bit bigger. So you can see the pictures give you a quick idea what's going on. And I've selected what news source I want to look at. So this guy, Larry Fer, uh, Ferlazzo, he's a really, really good teacher in the States with lots of good resources. So he's up there on top. And I've got other sources as well, all things linguistic about language. Right? So you can really personalize what you want. This might be good for English learning because you can pick your sources for English, only see those sources, and maybe it cuts down on the time you have to go searching for things because the most interesting things will come to you. Anyway, this is the one that I use. It's called Feedly. There's a million of them, and this is called an RSS feeder. Okay, so Here's what I want to do. Before we look at a news article, let's work on some vocabulary related specifically to crime, because we're going to look at a crime article. Um, I want you to take a look at the words in exercise two. Mr. Jose, can you just say those three verbs for me in exercise two? Okay. Steal. Rob. Attack. Good. Rob or... Rob. Thought... Rob. Okay. There you go. Careful with the rolling R. Yeah, Not... yes. yeah. Rob. Okay, good. Rob. Rob. All right. These words mean almost the same thing, right? They're very similar. Well, attack is a little different than steal and rob. A attack is a little more aggressive, no? A little more aggressive, right. Aggressive, yes. Okay. So in the first group... Let's see if we can. I guess we'll go around the room. We've got we've got three words per group, and I suppose we'll just go around the room. And intuitively, I want you to put in the word that you think sounds best. First one's done for you. A young man robbed an old lady. You could not say a young man stole an old lady, could you? Because <laughs> that would mean that the old lady is in a bag and he's taking her somewhere. So it wouldn't really make sense. But he robbed, meaning he took money from her. So Jose, what do you think about number two, the dog? Dog, I think a dog attack the postman. Good. What's the verb tense you're using? Uh, past attacked. Attacked, good. Attacked. Good. Excellent. And Mr. Morat, what do you think about number three, about the thief? Uh, a thief uh, stole my bicycle. A thief stole my bicycle. Good. Let me hear the pronunciation of the TH. Thief. One more time. A thief stole good. my bicycle. Good, good. Okay, and Rebecca, number four, three men. Three men, the bank. Robbed the bank. Mm -hmm. Bank. 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 Good. There you go. How come 
how come we can't say three men stole the bank? The bank was stolen by three men. No. Is that possible to say, Rebecca, no, no, or does no, that no, sound no. strange? No, no, just strange. Wait, wait a second. It's money uh, was stolen from the bank. There you go. So we have to steal something, Yes. but rob someone. That's the difference. And the bank, right, has people in it. So you're robbing the people in the bank, ultimately. So it's always rob someone, steal something. Okay. Mr. Edson, can you read the three words in the second group for us? Shoot, murder, kill. There you go. Shoot, murder, kill. Try number five for us, Edson. The man uh, shoot the victim shoot the victim with a knife. Mm. What tense are you using? Past or present? Past. So say it again with the past, because I heard the present. Shoot it, the victim with a knife. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's no, no, your... no. The man shot. The... Good. Good. The good. Good. With a knife. That's it. So it's irregular. The man shot the. Mister. Sorry, John. Number six. Ah, number six. We only police. Uh... Mm. Police, uh, I think the uh, police shoot it. The shoot it? No. Uh -oh. oh, shoot it? Shoot it? Is that a word? Shoot it? Oh, no, okay, no. Shoot it? It's irregular. Ah, irregular. sorry. Irregular. Uh, shoot. I, I don't remember the past of shoot. Uh, you weren't listening to Edson. Edson, what's the past of shoot? Shot. Exactly. Ah, shot. The police shot the escaping uh, criminal. Okay. So, Mr. Edson, if number six is shot, shot, what does that tell you about number five, Edson? If we're using shot for six, we can't use it for five. Yes, let's see. And also, look at number seven, too, because whatever word you put in five, right, can't be used again in number seven. So we have to look at the group. What do you think is the best answer? It's not shoot. Maybe the man killed the victim with a knife. Okay, it works. Let's find out if that's the best answer because we have to look at what's in number seven. Morat, number seven. Mr. Morat, what do you think about number seven? Morat, are you there? Yes, uh -oh. yes, ah, sorry. Uh, there I'm, he is. I'm here, yeah. <laughs> Try number seven for us, please. Number seven, okay. Uh, he shot uh, himself in the foot. He shot himself in the foot, okay. Because you couldn't say he murdered himself in the foot, and you couldn't say he killed himself in the foot. So it's got to be shot himself in his foot. So if we're going to use shot in number seven, and we're going to use... What did we use in five, Edson? We said killed... The man killed the victim? Yeah. It would be like the man murdered the victim yeah. with a knife. Right, right, right. So it's got to be murdered for five, shot for seven. So Jose, six yeah. has got to be killed. Killed, right. But what, what, what's the difference between kill and, and murder? Because, um, well, both sound uh, the same for me. Except you couldn't say... <laughs> the police murdered the escaping criminal. Uh-oh, that doesn't work. Because the police aren't committing a crime. In other words, they're authorized to use force. So the police aren't murdering the criminal. Ah, okay, okay. Right? Kill, is, uh, it could be by accident, you know. Uh, 
Right. Different reasons. But uh, murder is with bad intentions. Yeah, always. Murder is a crime. Killing could be an accident. Exactly. And okay. suicide, you can kill yourself. Yeah. It's not murder. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, Rebecca, can you read the three words in the last group for us? Yes. Wait a second, please. Yeah. What? Kidnap. Mm -hmm. Hijack. Good. Arrest. Arrest. Good. Arrest. Let's try number eight. Term, well, I don't know the meaning of the, 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 the two uh, first. Well, some cram criminals have a politician. A politician. Mm -hmm. Well, arrest. No? Nope. I don't know what uh, does hi hijack mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come back to it in a second. Uh, All right. I don't know what uh, hijack mean. No, no, no. Yes. We'll we'll return in a second. Okay. Yeah. We'll get it from the context. Let's go back to Mr. Edson for number nine. Uh, three men tried to to hijack a plane. Very good. That's absolutely right. What did they do to the plane, Edson? If they hijacked it, what did they do? It's a kind of they tried to get in control of the airplane. Yeah, they they didn't try. They did get in control. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So to take control of a commercial anything vehicle. <clears throat> excuse me is hijacking, when you take control of it. Hijack. Okay. Hijack is the, is the pronunciation. That's right, hijack. Sorry, one second, I just need to get some water. <coughs> okay, problem solved. Mr. Jose, number 10. Yes. Number 10, uh, police arrested the three men. Arrested. Arrested. <clears throat> so, Rebecca, what does that tell you about number 8? Okay, uh, well, number 8. Uh, 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 number 8, some criminals so, have. Uh, there's only, there's only one but possible. We used hijack and we used arrest. So? Ah, uh, the other one, kidnapped. Kidnapped. Yeah. Kidnapped. 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 But I don't know the difference, you know, uh, between hijack. Well, what did the criminals what did the criminals kidnap? A person or a vehicle? Mm. What did they kidnap? Ah, okay, a person. A person. And hijack is for taking things that doesn't be, doesn't, that don't believe uh, me, you know. Taking like things that taking things that are vehicles. It's for vehicles. You hijack a vehicle, but you kidnap a person. Okay. Okay. Things and person and people. Okay. Can anyone think of a, this sentence? Some criminals have kidnapped. What was it? The, I can't see the whole screen. It's kidnapped a politician, right? Kidnap is when you take away illegally by, by force uh, some person. Mm -hmm. Has that ever happened? Can you think of a case where that's happened? Who, who was famously kidnapped? Who knows European history? Uh, no, I, I don't remember uh, about um, any people that have been uh, in that, but sometimes happen. It does. Uh, what about 1970s Italy? What about the Prime Minister, Aldo Moro, was it? Do you remember that? No. No? I think it, I'll tell you the year. Kidnapping Valdemoro was 1978, right? Uh, 1978, give me a second, and I'll give you the link as well. So if you want to look up kidnapping, here's a great example. This is a true story. You can take a look at that. Uh, 1978, 
Uh, okay. For, okay, he was not the prime minister. I thought he was, he was the former prime minister. Uh -huh. okay. The car of Aldemar, a former prime minister. I thought that he was actually in power at the time. Uh, anyway. He so was, he was kidnapped. Yeah. He was kidnapped. That's a pretty famous one. Uh, also, happen a lot with celebrities, especially yeah. not so much today. The most famous was the Patty Hearst kidnapping because, uh, give me a second, she was the daughter of a, of a big entrepreneur. Give me a second and I'll give you a link to that. Granddaughter of William Randolph Hearst who was in charge of one of the biggest newspaper empires. And uh, there you go. You can take a look there on that link. Uh, where's her kidnapping? You've got to click, when you open like Wikipedia, you've got to click on kidnapping. you got to click. It's in the middle of the page. 1974, 19-year-old Hearst was kidnapped from her Berkeley apartment. Right? There's some details. The funny thing was she became a case study in psychology because she began to side with the kidnappers and do things. She was kidnapped, but she began to work with them. She became kind of a case study, you know, like we call it Stockholm Syndrome today, when you start to sympathize with the kidnappers. So it seems like she sort of worked with them. Okay. Take a look at... Let's see if I did this right. Uh, okay, yes. You'll notice that some of those words are really easy to mix up. Kidnapping, hijacking, steal, rob. Okay. There's some captions below. The captions have, have two different meanings. The pictures show the wrong meaning of each caption. By the way, what do I mean by caption? Uh, Mr. Morat, do you know what I mean by the word caption? C A P, caption, T I O N? No, I don't know. Caption is in a newspaper, right? So if you look at any newspaper, let's look at the New York Times. Means title? It's not the title, it's the title of the picture. Title of the picture, okay. Let's take Sub a quick subtitle. look. Subtitle. Not a subtitle. No, it's, it's <laughs> subtitles are for movies. The title that is below the picture. Title that is below the picture, right? But we don't call them subtitles. Just so you know, subtitles are in movies when you have a foreign movie. Let's take a look at today's New York Times really quickly. See if I can make this a little bigger. Uh, my computer's going to be a little bit too slow. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to make this bigger. Hold on. It's very slow. There we go. Okay. So you can see underneath this first picture of the boy with the umbrella. Boy and he's watching the funerals in Austria. I can't read it very well. It's too small. I can't make it bigger. <laughs> I was trying to find the actual print newspaper. But anyway, if I go back to the regular online version, you can see this picture. You've got the people outside, and it says candlelight vigil in Baltimore last month for Burke Butler, who was shot and killed on the city's east side. So that's the caption here in blue, below the picture. Okay? Now, here, you've got the wrong meaning. The picture shows the wrong meaning. Each of these captions has a word or expression which can be easily confused. And I'll explain more about that in a minute. The picture shows the wrong meaning. What do you think the correct meaning really is? So let's take a look. Mr. Morat, can you read the first caption on the left for us? First? Mm -hmm. First one on the left side. Some uh, stolen earrings have been found by a tree. Right. <laughs> Does that mean that the tree picked up the earrings and gave them to the police or something? What's the what's what's the real idea? Some stolen earrings have been found by a tree. 
Who found the earrings? The tree or a person? In okay. reality. Owned by a tree. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, there is a mistake uh, because uh, the tree cannot uh, found uh, uh, something. That's true, but there's no mistake. It's true, hmm. but there's no mistake. There's just a little bit of missing information. Some earrings, some stolen earrings, have been found by a tree by Morat. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so by has more than one meaning. So there's no mistake in the sentence. But by has more than one meaning. By can mean near, and by can be because of a person. Right? Morat found some stolen earrings near a tree. That's the real meaning. But here, the caption is really short. We cut out the extra information and we just say by instead of near. But there's no mistakes. Okay, so that's the real meaning. Mr. Edson, read the second caption. Tell us what's wrong with it. What's wrong with the picture? A man has been attacked by a cash machine. Yeah, be careful which cash machine you use. <laughs> so what's the, what's the problem here? Um, he had problem with the machine because he probably was trying... Wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Did the machine attack the man? Oh, no, no. No, no, right. So what is the... What's the can you rewrite the caption? Tell us what the caption should say in order to be more clear. Uh, it's said that he made a mistake. Made a mistake? No. Why do you think so? Look, all you need to do is add add the person back in the sentence and it'll be clear. This class, help him out. How could you rephrase that caption to make it really clear that it's not the machine who attacked him? Anyone want to try? Help him out, class. A, a cash machine? Cash machine hasn't done anything. No. Jose, wanna try? I, I think uh, some, some someone right good attacked uh, him. Right, keep going. Where, where? Ah, at the cash machine. At the cash machine, right? Someone attacked a man at a cash machine. There you go. What do you think? Is it clear now, Edson? Yes, yeah. yeah. Right? So here we could replace by with at, and before, with more at caption, we replace by with the word near. So by, by can be, in Portuguese, can be por, or by can be pertu. Right? It's got two different yeah. meanings. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ms. Rebecca, what do you think about the last caption? Say it, and then if you can, Rephrase it to make it more clear. Let's see where the problem yes. is. A, a, a woman has shot a rubber, a rubber with a baseball bat. <laughs> yes. It's difficult to do because you can't put a bullet inside of a baseball bat. But okay. So how could we make that more clear? Well, I think maybe if I say... If I say... Um, uh, the robber has been shot. Mm -hmm. a, ro a robber with what? A robber with... Uh, a robber... Uh, okay. Uh, a robber... Uh, w uh, well, a robber was, ha has been shot uh, by a woman with a baseball bat. <laughs> no, that's what it says. <laughs> you didn't change it. Ah, no. with a ah, okay, with a <laughs> with a weapon. Right, a robber 
with Karan what? Likov. With what a does, Karan Likov. What does the robber have in his hand? It, not in the picture. I'm saying in reality. What does the robber have? A the bag. Rob, the lady's bag. The lady's no. purse bag. No, 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 no. The robber has her purse and he has a baseball bat. No, the, no, yes, no, the yes, 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 yes. The robber has the baseball bat, not what? the woman. Yeah. Who is the robber? The lady or the, the man on the floor? Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the man on the floor. Of course. Yeah. So the picture, who, is, the, who is carrying who is carrying the the, the baseball bat? The lady. The, the robber is, because the la the picture is wrong. Remember, all these pictures are incorrect. Ah, the the picture is wrong. Come on, right. I didn't know that I didn't hear that. Sorry. Well. Right. So, to correct it, we would say, a a woman has shot a robber who was holding a baseball bat, yeah. or a robber with a baseball bat was I shot see. by a woman with a gun. I've been shot. Shot. By a woman with a gun. By a woman with a gun, a gun. Oh yes, a gun. No, no weapon. Yeah. Right. So the so who has the baseball bat? The robber. Yeah, the robber. You're so, you're right. Okay. All of these are in the passive voice. That's why they're confusing, because we don't say who did the action. We only say the results. That's why it's confusing. They're confusing, but they're funny. <laughs> Okay, so what I want you to do now is this. We're going to go back to the text. We haven't read the text yet, but we're going to go back to it now. The text in the very beginning. Look at the headline and the photos in Cow Cabs Against Crime. You're going to find out what that means in just a second. Don't read the text. Just answer the question. What do you think it will be about? Okay? Let's go and take a look at the headlines and the pictures. Okay, so look at the headline, Cow Cabs Against Crime. Okay, and I want you to look at those two pictures, and you can see the captions of those two pictures. Okay? Based on those three things, what do you think the article's going to be about? Cow Cabs Against Crime. Caps, I don't know caps. Caps? You know what a cap is. Well, maybe I, I knew it and I forgot it. <laughs> Which is very... Look at, look at the caption in the second picture. Take a look at the caption. Ah, yes, 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 you're right. Cap. Yeah. Right. So cow, cap is... Caps? Cow caps. Okay. The, the cover... Yeah. The, the cover works uh, like a police. <laughs> like <a> maybe. <laughs> well, uh, having just a quickly look uh, on the headline, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the test uh, could uh, talk could uh, yeah, talk about uh, um, criminals, you know, uh, in the cities uh, when they are using the car, the taxis. Uh -huh, but then why the word cow? <laughs> cow is like because they are uh, heroes, you know, to do that. What? You're inventing. <laughs> yeah, right now. Yes, I made it up. <laughs> what is it? You can't just make it up. Look at the picture. Do you see a cow? Oh, yeah, come on. Really? How is the word for that? <laughs> well, come on. If I had to take a taxi with this uh, appearance... Oh how do you say goodness. how do you say cab? Uh, sorry, how do you say cow in Spanish, Rebecca? Uh, toro, vaca, toro, yeah, vaca, vaca. Vaca, right? Not toro. Toro is bull in English. Bull, yeah, you're right. Is 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 taki? Taki? Can I say taki? Tasteless, Tast tasteless. Taki, yeah. Really taki. Oh, the the cab is taki. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this, this this person the, has the, the car is tacky. Come on. Uh, I think John, this person has these guys. Uh, he he's uh, car like a cow. Like a cow. He, he's he's. We're gonna find out about him very soon. Why do you think his car looks like? Why do you think he's not his car? 
It's a cab. It's a taxi cab. Why do you think the taxi cab looks like a cow, Jose? <laughs> What's your guess? Because... Because uh, he's crazy? He, uh, he tries to catch uh, their attention. Maybe. Okay, Maybe. let's find out. Maybe. Let's do a little reading and find out. I want you also to pay attention to all of those passive voice sentences we just don't hear. Okay? Notice that we use by, but we don't say, uh, we always say by, and that could be confusing. Because by could be who did the action, and by could mean near, right? We also saw with, with a baseball bat, but we don't know who has the baseball bat. Notice how the passive voice can be a little confusing sometimes. So we're going to see examples of the passive voice, which will help you talk about news items yourself. All right? So, Mr. Morat, could you start the reading for us? Why don't you take the blue text and the first paragraph for us, please? Okay. Juan, a 46 years old... Start, start a little before. Start it with the little blue text. Let's get that little introduction there. Okay. Chile. Juan Geraldo has not been worked since he discussed his car as a call. Mm -hmm. What? Two words. Disguised. Disguised. Good. And cow. Ow. Cow. Cow. There you go. Good. Okay, keep going. Juan, a 60, 46 years year old taxi driver from Santiago is tired of being robbed. He has been attacked four times already. The first time he car was stolen and he was thrown naked into a blackberry bush. The last time he was attacked with a knife and just managed to drive himself to hospital. Ooh, this guy's got a, a very difficult job. <laughs> And you can see the blackberry bush. That's the first picture, by the way, everyone. Okay, Rebecca, can you take the next the next one, please? Mr. Gerald, 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 Geraldo. Geraldo. Geraldo, yes, I guess. Spanish, Spanish name. Mr. Geraldo got the idea to customize his bike. The vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle, from a TV advert showing a sport car line with cowhide. He went out, bought a whole of cowhide material and covered the inside of the, his taxi from floor to ceiling. He even covered the steering wheel and changed the sound of his cat on to a cow moo. <laughs> what, what, do what does his horn sound like now? I don't, I don't have any word for this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine when you are yippee, you know. <laughs> I'm still not sure how this is going to stop him from getting robbed, but let's find I out. I don't know. I, I have no idea, you know. I, I think because the, the rubber could start laughing and I can't help uh, laughing, maybe. For maybe, that. maybe. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll find out. Mr. Edson, continue, please. The taxi looks very strange. Yeah. But it is even more impressive at night. Mr. Gerald put neon lights on Sally on the Sally. So you ceiling good. So you can clearly see the black and white cowhide in the bright light as it goes al along the street. To complete the picture, Miss Gerald, ear, wears. No, no, not wears. Wait, wait, wait. Wears. Wears. Wears, wears a cowhide jacket and hat. So his car, his cab looks like a cow, and he looks like a cow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he's he's wearing cowhide. Hide is the skin, the dried skin of an animal. Hide is skin. Like, for example, you can make leather, a leather jacket out of cow hide, right? Leather is hide, but hide is usually before it's treated, and leather has been treated, 
so that it lasts longer. So that's Mr. Geraldo or Geraldo, however you say his name, and his cow taxi. Let's find out why why he's doing this. I'm, I'm still not sure what the what the game plan is. Mr. Jose, can you take the next one? Okay. A taxi like this will be noticed and remembered, and that exactly the, the idea. Now, when robbers get in, they get straight on, uh, straight out again. They don't want to rob me because they'll be seen by everybody, says Mr. Geraldo. Mr. Giraldo. Customers like it too. And 80% of Yuan's clients are women who feel safer in the brightly lit Coke cups. Hmm, that's interesting. So, how does he deter criminals, Jose? How, what's the deterrent? Mm. When I say, do you know what I mean by deterrent? Deterrent is something that stops you from doing something. Yes. If I deter you, I'm stopping you. What's the deterrent here, Jose? Mm -mm. What, in your, what's what's yes. your idea from the last paragraph? My idea is the um, the the robbers uh, don't want to to call the attention when they are uh, getting in in this car because this car is like a, like a go <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> all, all the all the citizens call, right. ca co could uh, see the robbers <laughs> into Pretty the much. car. <laughs> Pretty no? much. Hard. It's hard to get away with a crime when yes. everyone can see what you're doing. Okay, yes. so there you go. Mr. Morat, can you take the last paragraph for us, please? Last paragraph. Mm -hmm. Many customers... Many. That's right, go ahead. Uh, who call for a cap spe spe uh, special... Like specific this. Specifically. Yeah. Specifically. Okay. Uh, specifically ask for a call cap. These clients include government ministers, TV celebrate, celebrates, and no, parents... Not celebrates, one more time. Celebrities. Celebrities. Okay, TV celebrities and parents uh, organizing birthday birthday parties for their children. They are, also, they are so popular that Mr. Gerald's business has grown. And now he has seven call caps. What's next? Mr. Geraldo is keen uh, to develop his idea and is already thinking of making a zebra cap or a lion cap. It's a que question of using your imagination, he says. Which cap would you prefer, Morat? Uh, which cap? Uh, I prefer uh, lion cap. <laughs> the lion cap, why? I'm, that's interesting. <laughs> why not the zebra cab? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. On the, on the <laughs> you never know. Lions are good too. Yeah. All right. So listen. Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, just a quick question to make sure everything is clear. Okay. <clears throat> How has... Juan Geraldo's life improved since he made his first cab. What's the thing that changed? Just to make sure the article is clear. What's the thing that changed, class? He's not being robbed anymore. He's not being robbed anymore. Exactly right. Okay. There's a few true and false questions. <clears throat> For example, the last time Juan was attacked, his car was stolen. In the article, that's false. The last time his car was attacked, he drove himself to the hospital. Let's see if you can get the other ones, too. Number two, he first saw a cow taxi on a TV advert. True or false? If you know it, shout it out. True or false? True. True. It is true. 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 Yep. He, that's where he got the idea from. <clears throat> Number three, his taxi horn makes the same noise as a cow. True or false? false. True. 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 
What's the sound a cow makes? Class? The cow. <laughs> Take a look here. Look at paragraph two. Last word in paragraph two. Oh. Say that word for me. It's like a moo. 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 Like a moo. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So his taxi <laughs> horn moos, which is the noise that a cow makes, at least in English. That's what cows do. In Brazilian Portuguese, I don't know what cows do, but in English, they go moo. Okay? Is the same song? Is it called this? Same sound. Okay. Maybe a different yeah. spelling. All right. Yeah. Number four. True or false, he put neon lights on the outside of his car. True or false? I think it's inside of the car, no outside. Yeah. Right, it's inside, so number four is false. He put them on the ceiling, so they're inside the car. True or false, number five, robbers don't attack because everyone notices the taxi. It's true. It's true. It's true. True or false? Juan has also made a zebra cab. It is true. It is false. It's false. He's planning on making it. He didn't make it yet. At the end of the article, he says he's planning on branching out. It says uh, he's keen to develop his idea. What does that mean, keen? Can anyone think of a synonym for keen? Is able to get a, to develop the idea, or is anxious to develop the idea? Okay, not anxious, but but a better word would be eager. 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 Anxious is is like nervoso, right? Anxious. Yeah. So eager is yeah. If you tr if you translate anxious into English, eager, keen, uh, excited. All of those words could work for keen, okay? So he's eager, he's keen, he's excited to develop his idea. That means he hasn't done it yet. He wants to do it. He hasn't done it yet. Okay, so for that reason, number six is actually false. He has not made the zebra cap yet. All got, right, questions? I've got, I got a question. Uh, you mentioned about... Um Preposition by, like the passive voice. Uh -huh. There's yeah. another. Is there another preposition that works like passive? In a, not not exactly in a passive voice, but it's related, it's similar to that. Is there another one that you can use in the passive voice? Well, I'll tell you what. If you take a look at this section on page eight, which we're actually going to do on Thursday, Edson. We're going to go over the passive voice together. We're going to go over everything about it. So mm -hmm. probably you'll get your question answered there. But basically the answer is I think no. I don't think so. The reason is when you want to say fait pour alguém, right, was done by someone, Yeah. You, you always have to use by. I can't think of another word that you could say that's, I really can't think of another example. So I'm going to say, I don't think there's another word you could use. But if you mean perto, then you could say near. Like yeah. by, by the bank, near the bank. In that case, you can use a different word. But when you want to say something was done instrumentally by someone else, it's always by. I can't think of another example, so I'd say no if that helps. But we're going to work on that on Thursday. We're going to take this presentation, we're going to come back to it, and we'll work just on the passive voice. Okay? So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a few headlines, and I want you to write, uh, I want you, let me see. What I wanted you to do is Using the passive voice, if you can, you don't have to, but if you can, I want you to tell me what you think happens in this news story. Okay? Actually, we've got four headlines and four people. Why don't you all take one and briefly 
tell me the story about what happens in the headline. And if you can use the passive voice, try it. We haven't talked about the grammar, but try it if you can. So Edson, why don't you take the first headline, read it for us, and tell us the story of what happened. Think about where and when, who was involved. Okay? Woman arrested in Houses of Parliament. Okay. So what do you think? Can you explain what really happened, briefly? Uh, let's say she she was in the parliament and house and then tried to commit a crime or murder or no and then guys on, guys inside they they what? They try. They try to arrest her. What's another word for arrest? A, a simple way to say it. Simple. What do they okay. do physically? They um, they get 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 her to the jail. Okay, and physically, they had to reach out with their hands. And they had to do what? To reach out and... What's that word? When you reach out your hand... To catch her? Okay. So, say that in the passive voice. The Ella? woman... Foy. The, she was... Good. At the she was catch it. Nah, it's irregular. Catch is the present. What's the past? Oh, no. He was caught. Good. By, by some guys in Parliament. Perfect. She was caught by some guys in Parliament. That's it. Very good. So when you're reporting the news story, the most important thing is the result. So we use the passive voice to make sure that the result is clear. And if you need to say who did it, you use by. Okay? So let's think about that. We've got time for one more. Anyone want to try one last one? We got time for just a minute left. Anyone feeling brave? Want to try to tell me the story behind the headline? Anybody? 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 Going once? Going twice? Sold to Jose. Jose. Yes. I'm second, here. Second headline. President son kidnapped. Kidnapped. Good. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Good. Yes. In one minute or less. Tell me the story behind the headline using the passive voice if you can. Yes, so, someone, someone. I don't know what exactly it was. Um, someone um, ha, has been uh, kidnapped. Uh, the president's son. No, someone oh. has not been oh, kidnapped. The president's son. The president's oh, son. The president's son uh, was, was kidnapped. Good. Kidnapped by someone. Perfect. The president's son was kidnapped by someone else. There you go. That's exactly oh, okay. how it works. It's perfect. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. We've got to stop here, but on Thursday, we're going to have some extra practice. We're going to really focus on the passive voice, and we've got some listening to do, so you're going to get to recycle your vocabulary. Use it again on Thursday at 1 p.m. in Grammar Garage. So check that out on Thursday. I'll be back in just a second or Fluency Fundamentals, and today we're going to be talking all about idioms for problematic situations. Okay. Ways to describe problems, coming up in just a minute, okay? Bye for now, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.